afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Dinesh, founder and CEO of Trade Hero. Okay, let's get started. In 2012, 54 exchanges generated over 10 billion trades and over $50 trillion worth of turnover. What we are in essence today is a stock trading platform simulator based on the wisdom of crowds. What we will be tomorrow is a gamified financial engagement platform extending to all retail financial products. Specifically, Trade Hero is a financial literacy platform where you can pay to follow the expert advice of trade heroes or earn money by other, having others follow you. Now, since the stock market is informationally efficient, no investor can extract access returns by blindly following any one of our trade heroes. But since the leaderboard is competitive, leading trade heroes can provide consistently positive service in the short run on our platform. Imagine success by mirroring tips on Trade Hero with your broker in real life. A bunch of our followers have actually done that. I want to run you through a little bit of a video demonstration that shows you someone go through the process of selecting stocks, actually making a stock purchase, posting comments that can be technical analysis comments, fundamental analysis, or even whatever they think. Um, you can see uh, the portfolio as well. Um, and a timeline of people that uh, he's following. Uh, what we're missing from this demo is the leaderboard, and we have sliced and diced the leaderboard in many different ways so you can choose the appropriate trade heroes for what you want to do. We have a team of very dedicated mobile, financial technology, and uh, creative types. We believe passionately in two things. One, that um, in the democratization of financial markets uh, is long overdue. And we also believe that the best possible outcome is the result of disagreement and contest. We marry those two beliefs into Trade Hero. Um, we've been the number one finance app now in 63 countries on the uh, iOS app store and counting, so the model is uh, proven. We haven't really gone into the big markets yet. We haven't gone into China, India, Europe, and US. We launched uh, literally five months ago. And, uh, kind of struggling to keep up with development and everything else. So we have about 165,000 users and some interesting stats there on uh, where our users are coming from. Some of it is uh, completely unintended, like Thailand and Mexico and even India. Uh, we're doing about 13,000 daily unique logins with about 20,000 plus trades. It's interesting to note that for the Singapore Stock Exchange, uh, they do about 20,000 20, unique traders trade on the Singapore Stock Exchange every day. We're doing about 13,000 daily traders. So this is just some interesting statistics culled from our platform. Um, some of the top stocks popular among our users, Google, Facebook, Apple, um, Samsung. Some of the top trades, you can see the holding periods there. If you had followed some of these trade heroes, you could have made a 353% gain in Fannie Mae over a 56 day period. And likewise with some of the other stocks. Tesla, I think everyone knows your success story, 182% over 89 days. These were actual stocks that people traded on our platform. Remember, our platform has validated trading opinions. It's not declarated. You actually have to open a position and close a position and people follow you. Um, Morris Law does kind of apply to us. Every month or every two months, we've kind of been growing um, uh, uh, in terms of our user base. Today we're picking up about 3,000, maybe 3,000 users uh, uh, every day. Um, these are some of the competitors, I guess, uh, that are familiar in our space, eToro, Stock Picker, Wiki Invest. The difference between us and them really is that all of them are execution platform or crowdsource fund aggregators. None of them really look at monetizing the information brokerage. We place a premium on information and we find a way to monetize that. So, we're not eating anyone else's lunch, we are actually creating a new revenue stream. Why Trade Hero? Lots of uh, reasons. It's a disruptive model, not too far in the future, but just slightly ahead, uh, allowing for new income and revenue sources. There is social sharing and group intelligence that we haven't really taken advantage of, uh, but we hope to do for sentiment analysis. There's a proven user outreach. Uh, a lot of app stores have already, you know, uh, we've been number one in a lot of app stores, which means that uh, uh, there is something in there. And, um, you know, there's multiple product opportunity around the monetizing of, of information brokerage, the value of information. Uh, we haven't extended it to other financial retail products like uh, FX and warrants. 
So what are we looking for? How do we continue to build a superior product with even more useful value-added services for our users and hire the best people out there that we can? We need to fundraise. Um, we are already in discussions with a couple of VCs. We welcome more into the fall. We're looking for 5 million US to take us uh, through the next chapter. How do we extend the reach and share the value of our contextual financial community? Banks and brokerages are obviously very, very, very likely targets, and uh, we are in discussions with some of them, and you're going to see some interesting developments uh, in the near future. Each of us is a fabulous computer, able to gather, process, and predict information in various and distinct ways. How do we harness this power in making good decisions as well as reward those who give good advice? Trade hero. Thank you very much. Look forward to your questions. Um, so if you just go over your numbers again, what's uh, current monthly active use, um, what's average sort of metrics for active use? So the daily average active users is about 13,000 users a day, the AU. And we have uh, 150,000 users, about 20,000 trades being done, 160,000 users, 20,000 trades being done every single day. Okay, so that's one and a half trades per day per year. Yeah, that's user. exactly right. Sorry, you said 83,000 new users. 3,000 new users. 3,000 users. And monetizing currently or not? Uh, we are. We are actually, uh, our average revenue per user is right now more than three times the cost per acquisition per user. So we're doing pretty okay on that front. So we're, we have the shared numbers there or not? Mm, come talk to me personally. I'll just say that. We're doing okay on that front. I was doing some research. You raised about a half a million currently? Yes, that's right. Yeah, and you're trying to raise five million? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and what's growth rates on active user base over the last 90 days? Um, we're, we had, I think in March, we had probably 6,000 daily average users. April, about eight. And it's, it's been consistent with our growth in terms of our, our, our you know, our, our new user growth. So the daily average user base has been consistent with that. And that's all organic or some paid? Um, they are paid, but the average cost, it's about two-thirds paid, one-third organic and you know social referral sort of. Uh, but our cost per acquisition is, is very low. We have a multiple, you know, uh, agri-digital strategy which tries to keep the cost low. And so I guess last question, if you're profitable in customer acquisition, I guess why aren't you maxing out the paid acquisition? Well, we have limited funds. We had a very small you know, size of funds and right really now is the right time to raise funds and move forward. Uh, we haven't built for Android. We want to spend you know, a decent amount of that in human capital and marketing and all of that business stuff. John, do you have any questions? Well, I'm just curious. You have how many different types of users? I think we have two different kinds of users. Um, or even maybe three. One, using our, 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 our platform as a financial simulator before they go out into the real world. It's very useful rather than burning a hole in your pocket for real money. There are people who just come to our platform, follow trade heroes, and then mirror that advice in real life. They do no trading on our platform. Um, like a YouTube phenomenon, the audience and the viewers. And then there are people who try to use our system to generate an additional income stream. So three, three kinds of users on our platform. And so how do you monetize the three of them? Well, we monetize off the trade heroes. Our top trade hero is over 3,000 users, and we charge $2 per month per follow. And then you get access to their live trading information. We share 50% of that with the user. And uh, we have about 15,000 followers on our system currently. So the, the trade heroes actually make money from providing good advice. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. How do I make sure? So how do you make sure that there's an actual trade behind it? Because you mentioned that... We don't have to. Uh, using the concept of a leaderboard, it is competitive. So to be a leading trade hero, mm -hmm. you automatically have to consistently provide a positive service. It's, it's the information that you glean from the leading trade heroes is better than the flip of a coin. So they have a reputation to maintain as well. There are people following them. So if they didn't perform well, they wouldn't be on the leading leaderboard and they'd be down there and someone else would take the position in the short term and you'd be following their advice and see. 
So, so they're not d directly connected through you to Schwab or TD Water no. or somebody. It's Complete financial strictly reputational. How it's possible. Absolutely, using real time data, virtual cash, and strictly in reputation. What with the monetizing angle? Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.